Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your lead scentsy consultant. So today I have for you the scent and the warmer of the month for July of 2023. We have a beautiful scent here. I have not opened the clam yet, but the little whiff that I got out of the box was wonderful and a very fancy sparkly warmer to share with you. So let's dive right on in by first taking a look at the flyer that we always get with the scent and warmer of the month. And this is such a pretty one. I do think it's very nice for July or even into August. This feels very late summer to me and I think it's very glitzy. Honestly, I got this warmer maybe even thinking that it would be really nice with early fall type decor where you start to bring in the purples and the sort of blush colors and those deep rusty oranges. So I know it's supposed to be a summer warmer, but that's just where my mind goes. Anyway, the scent is called Tahitian Twilight and it's always $5.40 for the bar and then you can get the room spray for $7.20 and the scent circle for $2.70 in the month of July when it's on sale and then the warmer is called the Prismatic and it is $49.50 in the month that it's on sale or $55 afterwards if it does not sell out. So these look wonderful and Tahitian Twilight the top notes are supposed to be coastal waters Mid notes are passion flower and pineapple, and the base notes are white woods. So there is our scent pyramid, and the prismatic is going to be a, let's see, it says glows when lit, but where is my, hmm, I don't know. I thought that it would tell me the watt, 25 watts. For some reason, it's right there, and I can't see it. 25 watt warmer, so it'll just have a regular bulb, and that should definitely diffuse the light pretty softly with this sort of uh, metallic-y, prismatic-y finish that is definitely iridescent. So, all right, enough said. Let's try the scratch and sniff stickers, which are wonderful for us as consultants to hand out on things. Oh, this is going to be really good. This is very summery, but in a really, really nice way. So here is the bar of Tahitian Twilight. Very pretty packaging, and it's a really pretty purple. I am not the biggest fan of purple, but certain shades that kind of get more kind of dirty and soft and close to warm, which this one still, you know, it's almost there. That's the kind of purple I like. So let's see what this smells like. I'm going to really like this. This is beautiful. It's on the softer side. It's definitely perfumey. It's perfumey, soft, blended. It kind of brings coastal sunset to mind, but that's far muskier and sharp and really like beachy and suntan coconutty. This is more gentle. It's super relaxing. I think I'm going to love this. So you get the coastal waters. The passion flower and the pineapple, they're not super fruity. They read almost more perfumey and fruity. And then the white woods, it just brings balance and roundness. Ooh, I cannot wait to warm this. This is really, really nice. So again, that is Tahitian Twilight, which is the scent of the month for July. Oh yeah, I'm really gonna like this. So that, as I said, reminded me a little bit of Coastal Sunset. And there isn't anything else exactly that it reminds me of. Mountain Sunset has a lot more floral in it, whereas this has the fruit, but the fruit really reads very sweet and perfumey rather than a juicy, fruity kind of a scent, more like a ruby nectarine that you would not wear that. The other things that are with this kind of make me think perfume, and it's really, really lovely. I think it's going to be about a medium strength. We'll see. So then after that, we have the Prismatic Warmer. Now, I honestly debated with myself about whether or not I was going to get the whole kit because this is a super cool warmer. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. That's why I kind of prefaced it with, I think it might go well with some of my things for fall. But let's see what color this really is when we get it out of the box. So here is the dish. And as I stumbled around trying to figure out, it is going to be a 25 watt regular bulb warmer. So the purple is going to be a nice, oh pretty, a really good truly amethyst purple. Now this is a purple I can get behind because it's not too like royal purple, that makes me nervous. This color is actually very pretty with the greens and the oranges that I've got behind me. So I'll make it work somewhere. And here comes the body of the warmer. Oh boy, this is fancy schmancy. 
this is going to be really pretty with that rainbow iridescent coating. Oh, wow. I'm glad I didn't pass this up. This is pretty spectacular. Oh, beautiful. All right. So let me get the bulb in this. And, you know, every month I look forward to the next, like, sneak peek on our consultants tab of what the next warmer of the month is going to be. It's a fantastic subscription that we can get a little bit early as consultants. And it does help us to be prepared to hand out samples, answer people's questions. And in my case, because I have a channel, it's a wonderful way for you guys to get usually a monthly sneak peek of what's coming down the road. And then you can plan ahead and budget and look at your parties and all that so that you know what is coming. And I love having all the different, you know, access to the bars and things. So let's screw in our 25 watt bulb and light this very beautiful warmer up. So this has a four cube dish. This is a nice, heavy, substantial glass warmer. And because the dimension is reasonably narrow, this is really pretty. I think this is going to throw quite well for a glass warmer. Let's see, it's nice and heavy. Oh, wow. Okay, I am so glad I didn't pass this up. It really looks like that, guys. This isn't just a camera trick. This is spectacular. I don't have a glam house, and I was thinking that's probably the perfect style for this, but wow, this is stunning. <laughs> I don't think I've been this shocked and surprised in quite a while. I love the current warmer of the month, which is the On the Seashore. That's a very me warmer. And in the long run, I think that one is one that I may like better personally, but this is spectacular you guys have got to get this if you like all that beautiful sparkle in your life so again this is going to be 54 no 49 dollars and 50 cents in the month that is on sale and it is called the prismatic warmer you definitely need to take a look at getting one of these if you like anything sparkly this is spectacular and it's gorgeous off too so when it's off it's more of a moody purple it's a little bit of sort of a silvery sheen, but look at this baby when it's on you guys. This is incredible. So this is the Tahitian Twilight Bar, which even if you don't want the warmer, I think you should really try the bar. I think anyone would love this unless you really don't like perfumey, little bit woody, little bit fresh scents, but it's really, really romantic. That's definitely what I would say about that. Even though it's in the fresh category, it has a romantic quality. And this... I mean, I don't think you can do better than that when it comes to wow factor. So this is Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents looking at the July scent and warmer of the month for 2023 and telling you they are both fantastic and I think they'd be worth picking up. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.